Up. Elijah Jamison, the 6'3", true freshman guard out of Lewisburg, North Carolina, coming off a nine-point performance Thursday at IUPUI. Kentrell Poyan, KP, the six-foot sophomore guard from Benton Harbor, Michigan. He wears number 12. He had a team-high 12 points at IUPUI last time out. The forwards include B.J. Freeman, a 6'6 sophomore from Selma, North Carolina. 10 points at IUPUI. He had scored 20 or more in six in a row before Thursday. And Ahmad Rand, the 6'8 senior forward from Lincolnton, Georgia. 13 points, four blocks against the Phoenix in the first matchup. He had two more blocks on Thursday against IUPUI. He will steal your soul with every block. He's got 50, and he comes into this matchup just four away from tying the single-season record. So again, it's Browning, Jamison, Polian, Freeman, Rand for first-year head coach Bart Lundy, 16-7. and 21st season overall as a head coach. He has 445 career wins against just 197 losses heading into this one here tonight. And we want to welcome all of you watching us, our simulcast on ESPN+. Plus. Andrew Levac and the great crew here inside Panther Arena behind the scenes giving you those images. Panthers wear the alternate gold. We have only seen this, I think, once before, maybe twice. They have not used the gold often this year, but they're wearing it tonight. Gold unis, white lettering, numerals with the black trim, and Green Bay in the familiar road green with the white trim. Some silver in the lettering with the white as well. Excellent officiating crew. Paul Sells, Lewis Garrison, and Ron Tybersky. And we are set for basketball. Panthers will go left to right. For those of you who watch us, everything is opposite as I sit next to the Panthers bench. I don't want you to get confused by the directions I give. I know some do. And the Panthers win the tip. You know who you are. And away we go on a Monday night. Panthers to my right. Teams shoot opposite their own benches here in this first half. Browning deep on the left side. Looks to spin against Tucker. Kick it back for Pullian. Far sideline. Panthers looking for a third straight win. Here's a deep one from the left side that will not go, and Rand tried to save it, but it comes to Green Bay. Cummings pushes into the forecourt, Pullian from behind disrupted. Tucker, though, cleans it up, and a scoop to the hoop for Randy Tucker gives the Phoenix their first points of this game. Less than a minute gone by. Panthers have won five in a row in the all-time series. Freeman on a baseline pass, and it's knocked out of bounds by Randy Tucker. 2 nothing start. For the Panthers, this is meeting number 72 all-time. 40-31, the Phoenix lead it, but as I say, Panthers have had the upper hand of late. Five straight wins heading into tonight. Freeman catches the inbound, sideline left. Attacking Cummings off the dribble, can't coax that runner to fall. Jamison, a right side offensive rebound, and he'll slash to score. And EJ is on the board off the offensive rebound. Two to two is our start. Panthers will show some pressure now. That zigzag backcourt pressure as Browning is working against Cummings defensively, but Clarence Cummings, the third, brings it across into the front court left side. Panthers off a win over IUPUI on Thursday. Green Bay off a loss at IUPUI on Saturday as Ziegler to the elbow, nothing. Back for Tucker. He'll retreat, pop along two, miss it off the side iron. It'll go out of bounds. And it'll be Panther basketball. Freddie Owens. <laughs> Freddie Owens said that was tipped. Yeah, Owens is the interim head coach. This is the fourth game that Owens has had that title. After Will Ryan dismissed, it was a tough stretch for Will Ryan in what was his third year. Baseline, Jamison the drive, and on the attack, we'll have a foul. Paul Sells, the baseline official, makes the call, and the push against Clarence Cummings. If you're saying Freddie Owens, I know that name. How do I know that name? Well, spent four years in Madison for the Badgers. Was a co-captain in 03-04, a couple of Big Ten titles there. 15 years in the coaching ranks, and now the interim head man after being on Ryan's staff since Will took over a couple of years ago. Left of the lane, ran to double, and a kick out Jamison, 10 to shoot, right of the circle. Freeman, he'll pop a three, and he'll roll it in over Ryan Wade. B.J. Freeman. Saw his streak of 20-point games end on Thursday. 
when he put up 10 on 4 of 18 shooting at IUPUI. 5 to 2, Panthers have the lead, a little over two minutes in. Appreciate you finding us on a Monday night, whether you're listening, whether you're watching, just glad you found us. Cummings takes a three right out of the circle, off the front iron, no good. And the rebound to Pullian. He'll push forecourt to Freeman. Freeman against Ziegler. Left side, Pullian, corner, Browning, he's open for three, it rolls off. Rand collects the rebound, turns from the right baseline, in and out on an 18-footer. And the rebound is pulled down by Green Bay, Cade Meyer. Panthers are the best rebounding team in the Horizon League at 39.1. That is also, by the way, good for number 22 in the nation. One of the many reasons why they sit a half game out of first. Ziegler, nothing on a baseline drive. Back for Meyer. The Panthers show a little 1-3-1 here defensively. And at the top, that three rolls off. Missed by Ryan Wade. The Panthers clear. Lundy wants them to push. And Jamison will oblige with a 5-2 lead here in the early going. Freeman right wing. Yes, it's another one. And B.J. Freeman, two for his last two from downtown. And it's an 8-2 start for the black and gold. They have scored eight in a row after Randy Tucker got us going with the first basket of the night. 16.40 to play in this first half. Over a high screen, Cummings at the free throw line. He'll pull up from there. He'll miss it off the front iron. And Freeman will clear. And the Panthers will push again. Something they could not do with relative ease on Thursday at IUPUI. Pullian, right wing three. Yes! 11 to 2 and 11 in a row for the black and gold as Kentrell Pullian gets his first basket. 16 13 to play in this first half. Inbound to Wade and he'll bring it across. KP had 12 points on Thursday to lead the team. Tied for the fewest by a leading score in victory all year. Just 12, but it was enough. Wade at the top, launches a three and rings the bell. That stops the 11-point scoring stretch as Wade hits from downtown, the senior from Ann Arbor. Last year, a member of the Central Michigan Chippewas. Two years before that at Holy Cross. 11-5 Panthers in the paint. Browning scooping, scoring with the left hand. Using that athleticism and a bit of the wingspan as well against the... Defense of Cummings, 13 to 5. Browning's got his first points. Timeout will come at the next whistle here. Been a fast moving first four and a half minutes. Three ball right side won't go, but Tucker got his own miss. They reverse. Now Cummings will spot a three. In and out inside Meyer. He had rebound position and will get a foul. I think it's going to be on Rand from behind a hold. Cade Meyer, one of the better postmen in this league. And he was uh, in a prime position against Rand. And Ahmad fouled him from behind. First foul of the night. 15-14. First half. Panthers offense looks good early. They lead 13-5. And we're back in a moment. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. 15-14 to play first half. And the Panthers out to a good start. 13-5. They have the lead. Hitting five of their first nine shots. Three of their first five from beyond the arc. Freeman's got six. Wade for the Phoenix. Three. Meyer at the line for Green Bay. These will be the first free throws that we have had so far. Meyer at the line, shooting a pair. Line to our left. 68.8% free throw shooter and he hit it. The Horizon League is comprised of 11 public and private institutions located in some of the largest cities in the country, including nine schools and top 70 media markets. To learn more, visit horizonleague.com. Meyer hit a pair. Rand committing that foul prior to the timeout. 13-7, to seven, Panthers by six. Angelo Stewart... Justin Thomas is on. They lob it up to Markeith Browning. Thomas to Browning. And that'll get this crowd revved up early. 15-7. Boy, that was another after timeout draw up by Bart Lundy. And they executed it to perfection. An ATO to perfection. We talked about that in our pregame show tonight. They've been good more times than not coming out of timeouts. And they were very good right there over a high screen. Working as Jenkins to the right side. That three comes off by Ziegler. 
Gavin Ziegler unable to hit. Jello in the corner. Stewart for three. No good off the side iron. Bowl out there, and he's over the back. First foul on Big Mo. Panthers with Bowl, Thomas, Stewart off the bench. And then you have Freeman and Browning, two holdovers out of the starting lineup. 14-25 first half. 15-7, Panthers by eight. Baseline Cummings will inbound it into the corner. That's Jenkins, lob up court. Tucker's got it into the front court. Gavin Ziegler high on the left side, and now they'll set up in the half court. Pitch it right at the top to Cummings. Into the paint, goes up, blocked by Big Mo, who's now second in the league in blocks, oh, by the way. And the Panthers turn it over. Freeman's pass deflected. It's a three-on-one. Cummings back for the Phoenix. Missed the layup. Fought for to the far side. Out of bounds. And it'll go to the Panthers. Oh, goodness. It looked like Davin Ziegler did not go after that loose ball, assuming it had last been touched by the Panthers. And once it did, it was pointed Panther ball. So, Milwaukee a chance to go up double figures again. Now check it. They haven't been up. It was 11-2. to two. This would be the first time they will have gone up by double figures. Browning deep on the left. Corner. Stewart, 15 to shoot. Stewart working against Hefner, who's in off the bench. Bowl out for Stewart. Touch pass Thomas. Freeman right wing, three. No good. Great, great swing, though. Great rotation. Everything but the shot. 15-7. to seven. Panthers have the eight-point lead. 13-27 left in this first half. Ziegler contested three left side. Rims out. They are one for seven from the arc, the Phoenix. And the Panthers come back. Freeman on the attack. No look inside for Big Mo. Missed the layup. Oh, Bowl. Such a good finisher that time. He was right there. It just rimmed out. Still an eight-point lead for the Panthers. We approach 13 minutes to play in this first half. Green Bay has missed 10 of their last 11 at the top after a shot fake now. Hefner going to back down Bowl. Kick it back to the top for Tucker, who traveled. That is the first Phoenix turnover. Hefner, a redshirt freshman from Grafton High School. Enrolled originally at Hawaii and then redshirted last year, and now he's a member of the Phoenix. From I said this in the first matchup in December. From Hawaii to Green Bay. <laughs> it's, quite a, it's quite a change in wardrobe. Freeman goes up, disrupted, thought he was fouled, lost the ball. Panthers still up by eight with 12.28 to play in this first half. Panthers haven't scored in nearly three minutes now after that good start. Davin Ziegler eyes the rim, high screen by Hefner, navigates to the left elbow, drop it back in for Hefner who goes up and draws the foul. Nice little two-man game run right there by Ziegler and Hefner. And Angelo Stewart will be called for his first and the team's third. 12-15 first half. Panthers still up 15-7. We have not seen a point either way in almost three minutes. Almost exactly three minutes. As Hefner, Brock Hefner, hits that first free throw. This is a 14-man roster for Green Bay. Eight of which are natives to Wisconsin. Hefner being the Grafton native. Second free throw missed by Hefner. Wade back on for the Phoenix. Jenkins sits. Panthers up seven. Baseline, Freeman. Kick it to the right corner. Stewart is wide open. No, too long on the three, and Hefner the rebound. 12 minutes to play in the half. Panthers up by seven. Pushing the Phoenix. Wade back to the top. That's a three for Ziegler. That's off the front iron. No good. Crashing the board was Cummings, but he couldn't quite get it. Man, he came out of nowhere. Panthers clear left to right. Up by seven. They have not, again, scored in almost three and a half. Jamison and Howell jog to the scorer's table. Inside, Browning gets free, throws it down, and it's 17 to 8. That snaps the scoreless drought for Milwaukee. Browning's got a couple of baskets. 17 to 8. 11 22 to play in this first half. High on the left is Davin Ziegler. Ziegler feed Hefner at the top. 
Big man for three, and he rings the bell. Brock Hefner buries that one from range. 26% three-point shooter, but you wouldn't know it by the way that one went up. Freeman an answer, in and out. So Green Bay's got it. And they're down six, 17-11 with 10.52 to play in this first half. Despite shooting 21% for the half, the Phoenix have got it down six. Hefner calling for it at the top. Shot fake, driving on ball, pass in for Cummings, and a whistle and a foul. It was disrupted there by the Panthers who commit a foul. And this is going to be Stewart's second. Team's fourth. So, we have a timeout. This has been a fast-moving start to our game tonight. 10.39 to play. First half, 17-11. Panthers have led by as many as nine. It's at six momentarily as we break. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. 10.39 to play here in this opening half. And the Panthers have a 17-11 lead. Panthers at 44%, Green Bay at 21%. Browning and Freeman leading Milwaukee's offense so far with six each. Hefner off the bench, has four for the Phoenix. Panthers and Phoenix met a long time ago. It was December 1st at the Rush Center. Panthers won by 14 that night, 81-67. That was their first conference game of the year. Baseline left, Ryan Wade will throw it in to Tucker in the corner and he buries the three. Five for Tucker. Miskevich is on for the Panthers. So is Jalen Johnson, Zach Howell, Elijah Jamison, Justin Thomas. So Jamison the only starter on the floor right now for Milwaukee. 15 to shoot deep on the left. The lead is down to three. Jamison got it poked out in the corner. Thomas pass it in for Miskevich. And we'll get a foul inside on the catch by Vincent Miskevich as he looked to put it on the deck and then potentially go up. Clarence Cummings. So Cummings with two. Those are the only two fouls that have been called against Green Bay so far. And he'll come out for Green Bay. Jack Rose is on for him. Panthers inbounding, 20 to shoot. Jamison a drive on Wade. Missed the layup, off balance. Miskevich fighting, flipping, and scoring off the offensive rebound for Vincent Miskevich. He hasn't played in the last four games. You know he's eager to get out there once again, given this opportunity in the first half. 19-14 Panthers, under 10 to play in the first half. Tucker high on the left side. Screen given him by Meyer, back for Hefner. He'll step to his left for a three, leave it short, and Jamison the rebound for the Panthers. Up by five. Thomas, nothing on the attack left side, so they'll reverse. Nope, Jamison's going to drive. Elbow jumper, rolls off, might have been disrupted. Miskevich, another offensive rebound. He goes down. He was fouled before he got the shot off by Tucker. Vincent Miskevich, his motor is always running. He had that stretch where he was in the starting lineup when Freeman was coming off the bench. Instant energy. Jamison, lob it into Miskevich against Tucker. In the paint, burrows in, and we will get an offensive foul against Miskevich. That time they say he lowered his shoulder into Tucker's defense. That time the motor revved a little too much, if that's possible. First on Miskevich, Panthers turn it over for the third time. 19-14 Milwaukee, 9-18 to play in this first half. Panthers led 11-2 in the first couple of minutes, but it's been uh, tougher since then. Green Bay's playing well. Hefner, right side, baseline, bounce pass, Meyer in traffic. Reverse layup is good for Cade Meyer, the sophomore from Monroe. He's had good games against the Panthers in his young collegiate career. 19-16 Milwaukee, under nine to play in the half. Howell right wing for three, and the freshman misses, and Johnson a tap over the end line. It'll go to Green Bay. 8.49 to play in the half. Markeith Browning will be summoned by Bart Lundy. Browning will replace Justin Thomas in the lineup. Panthers in the alternate gold unis. Haven't had this look often this year. Only one, I believe, I was thinking earlier, one or two. 
two other times this year. They've worn the gold, green and gold out there. 1916 Panthers, 8.38 to play in the first half. Ziegler, corner Tucker. To the top, Meyer, shot fake. Trying to work that ball around. Wade to the corner for Ziegler, 10 to shoot. Has it, right wing, into the paint. He'll drive, he'll scoop, blocked by Browning. Out of bounds, last touched by Miskevich. Panthers already have set the season record for blocks as a team. They came in with 135, and now they're just adding to it at this point. That's the second block of the game for Milwaukee. Four to shoot here for the Phoenix. Baseline inbound, Wade, and before he throws it in, we have an offensive foul. Randy Tucker, an offensive foul. So... The Phoenix with four team fouls, Tucker and Cummings, two each way, and Jenkins will come in to replace Randy Tucker. Tucker had nine points a game in conference, but he's on the bench. They need every last ounce of offense, the Phoenix do, if they're going to pull off this upset here at Panther Arena. 19-16, Panthers, 8-12 left in this first half. Phoenix in a 2-3 zone. Miskevich pass inside Howell underneath the basket. Reverse layup, hit the bottom of the rim. Now Howell fighting down underneath with, I think that's Wade. And we'll get a held ball. The arrow gives it to Green Bay. Miskevich against the zone. Passed it to Howell, but he was right underneath the net. Right underneath the net. He tried to contort himself for some sort of a layup. But all he could do was hit the underside of the iron. And then it was a battle for a loose ball. So the Phoenix have it again. Panthers again a little... Mini scoring drought here of over two minutes. Phoenix are fighting here on the road. They have lost 17 straight games away from Green Bay. That would be true road games and neutral site games. Hefner for the Phoenix. High on the left side. Fakes the pass. Looks to drive. Sandwiched and fouled. Browning and Miskevich. The sandwich of defense. And the foul, Miskevich, will be his second. That is the sixth on the team. If anybody thought this one was going to be early from the outset, you would be mistaken. 7.47 to play in this first half, and the Panthers lead at 19-16. We have another timeout. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. Panthers shooting uh, 38%, Green Bay up to 28%. It will be Green Bay basketball. Baseline left beneath their basket. Defensively, Browning, Freeman, Rand, Pullian, and Jamison. Barton Lundy makes some substitutions here. Jenkins to trigger, in for Wade, retreats to the corner. Almost stepped out of bounds. Back to that corner for Hefner. He'll take Freeman off the dribble, into the paint, jump stop, kick out. Three ball, Wade, no good. That would have tied it. And the rebound ripped down by Markeith Browning. Outlet pass for B.J. Freeman. Panthers are plus six on the glass now at 17-11 after that board there. Freeman. Elbow, kick right wing deep, Jamison. This zone has given them some issues. Browning, drive and kick. Left corner, Pullian, three rolls off. Browning, weak side offensive rebound. Lost it on the way up. There's Ahmad Rand, powering it up. No, but he'll go to the line. And the Panthers feasting on the glass against Green Bay. The personal foul on Cade Meyer, his first, team's fifth. 19-16. And two free throws here for Ahmad Rand. Rand, a 65% free throw shooter this season. And that one is a little bit too long. Panthers still looking to snap this scoring drought of almost three minutes. Ahmad Rand looking for his first point. Made it. So it's 2016. It's a four-point lead for the Panthers here with a little over seven to go. And the Panthers employ that full-court pressure. And it's deflected and it's turned over. It paid off. Browning. Baseline Freeman. Freeman spins on Hefner. Blocked out of bounds by Brock Hefner. Hefner very active. 7.02 in the half. 23 on the shot clock for Milwaukee. Jamison lob it in. Browning the catch at the top. Guarded tightly up there by Jenkins. Spins on Jenkins into the paint. Left hand leaner, no. Fighting, could not get his own tip in. And Meyer collects. 
6.48 left in the half. And the Panthers up by four as Jenkins gets all the way into the paint, drops it off for Meyer, cannot finish in from the right. Jenkins diving on the floor, and we will have a hell, a whole, a hell ball. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Green Bay head coach, interim head coach Freddie Owens saying he was lying on the ball. He wanted a timeout. Baseline official Ron Tyberski said he never had control to get the timeout granted. So Panthers on the arrow will have it. Leading it by four. Six and a half to play in this first half. It has been a grind after the first four minutes or so. Freeman pass in Rand. Skip to the corner. Jamison stepped out of bounds. Boy, Rand immediately looked to skip it to the corner. I think if Ahmad catches that one, brings it down, he might have an opportunity there for some post-up points. Panthers turn it over. That's the fifth turnover. And on the inbounds, they can't find an open target. So the Phoenix will take a timeout. 30-second timeout taken by Nate Jenkins, the inbounder. 6 minutes and 22 seconds to play in this first half 20 to 16 we have the timeout and as they talk it over i will tell you that the hashtag #1hl working group is comprised of student athletes from all 11 institutions built on the notion that although schools and student athletes compete against each other by working together the league can create meaningful and impactful change learn more at horizonleague.com/1hl or by searching #1hl on social media This has not exactly been an offensive display here for this really nice crowd that's turned out on the Monday night. Neither team doing much offensively. The inbound comes, backcourt Cummings, and somehow, some way, the Phoenix are able to fight through that backcourt pressure and work it across. Ziegler, high on the left side. Gavin Ziegler angles it to the right now, back to the top. That's Cummings. Panthers show a, I think it's a zone look here. Hefner at the top for three, and he hits another one. Brock Hefner makes it a one-point game, 20-19. to 19. Hefner has seven. 547 left in the first half, and the Panthers continue to struggle against this zone. Freeman three, and he hits a deep one from the left side. Freeman's got nine, all from the arc, and it's 23-19. Both teams have hit four from downtown. Hefner, they break the pressure. They have numbers, but Cummings wisely waits for the reserves to join him in the front court. 5.24 left in this first half. Hefner at the logo. Wade at the catch at the top. Angles it left. Back to the top for Hefner. Shot fake and a drive and a kick to the corner. There's a three for Jenkins in and out. Hefner... A tough matchup so far here, I think, against Milwaukee. Freeman a drive and a kick. Pullian, corner three, yes! So the Panthers' three-point ability. The difference, they lead it by seven with under five to play in the first half. 26 to 19, now five out of 13 from the arc. Again, they pressure the backcourt Cummings. Jenkins, forecourt, this is Wade. To the corner, here's a three for Hefner. That spot will not fall, and it's out of bounds off of Jenkins. Well, that's the first time that Hefner's attempted a three from anywhere other than out top, you would say. That was a deep right corner pocket three, and he could not connect. 26-19, Panthers by seven. 4.37 left in the half. Jameson is out. Thomas is on for Milwaukee. Thomas Freeman, Rand Browning Pullian. 2-3 look shown by the Phoenix defense. Freeman at the top. Looks to drive on Ziegler. Stripped. Oh, they got an offensive foul. I beg your pardon on B.J. Freeman. Crowd did not like that call. First on Freeman. Seventh on the team. Panthers in this first half. With six turnovers, Green Bay has only turned it over three times. They turn it over 15 a game. One of the bottom three marks in the league. Outlet pass, Cummings, he's there. Rands with him, pushed him. Cummings still scores the basket. And an opportunity for a three-point play. Ahmad Rand, his second. 
That was a tough basket for Cummings. They call him CC. And Clarence Cummings, the third, the redshirt sophomore from Orlando, he caught deep on Ahmad Rand. You can always hear the footsteps of Ahmad Rand. So when he caught deep, too deep, there was a pump fake. Anticipating contact, got pushed in the back, and still was able to contort himself to lay it in. Impressive for Cummings. Free throw no good, however. 26-21, now the Panthers push. One on four, this is Freeman back, dropping it off inside for Rand, and he's fouled. And now a technical foul on Ahmad Rand. Rand said something to Hefner. Ahmad dunked the ball after the foul. The foul will be on Clarence Cummings. His third, the technical foul on Ahmad Rand, and that is going to be his third. So, what happened there, Ahmad was fouled. He dunked it after the foul. And then he said something to Hefner. And that's what Paul Sells saw. 4-0-8 to play in this first half. It is 26-21. So, two starters in this game. Cummings for Green Bay. And ran for the Panthers. Three fouls each with four away to play in the first half. And Moses Bowles is going to have to come in for Ahmad Rand. Here are the technical free throws being shot by Randy Tucker for the Phoenix. Line to our left. And he hits the first. And he hits the second. Panthers now as a team with nine fouls. Green Bay as a team has six. And it'll be Panthers ball baseline because the foul tag to Cummings was not a shooting foul. It was on the ground. As I said, bowl is on. Inbound lob. Browning, no, right at the rim. He left it short. And we'll get a loose ball foul on Green Bay. Nate Jenkins for a push, says Lewis Garrison. 4.05 to play in this first half. We got a little juice, folks, in this opening half. It is a rivalry. 26-23, and you can feel it here. Things getting a little testy on a Monday night at Panther Arena. That's okay. Comes with the territory. Team 7, so it's a 1-1 one one here for Browning. Markeith lined to our right. He's got 6 and earns the bonus with his 7th point. Ryan Wade checks on. Nate Jenkins checks out. Wade Hefner, Meyer, Ziegler, and Tucker as that free throw is missed. That's the Green Bay five. Bowl, Thomas, Pullian, Freeman, Browning, the Panther five. Under four to play the half. Four-point game. And the pass into the front court deflected. Pullian can't quite track it down. Well, I'll tell you what. We had a couple of technicals there, but it may have breathed a little life into the Panthers because the offense, after the first three, four minutes of this first half, it's been a struggle. 3.52 to play in the half. Panthers up 27-23, and we have the under four media timeout. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. It's the league men's and women's basketball championships. Four men's, four women's teams look to reach the horizon and punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Semi-final action will take place Monday, March 6th. Horizon League champions crowned Tuesday, March 7th. Visit horizonleague.com slash indy for more info to get your tickets. That's horizonleague.com slash indy. Panthers 27, Green Bay Phoenix 23. Scott Warris courtside here. Studio producer engineer Max Meyerson. On the radio side of things, Andrew Levesque and company handling the ESPN Plus telecast side of things. Appreciate you listening, watching, streaming, tuning in. Thank you. It is Green Bay ball in front of the Panthers bench. Front court left. It'll be Tucker to trigger. All the way back up top to Davin Ziegler. Ziegler at the logo. 
Green Bay being led by Tucker and Hefner, seven each. Six to shoot. This is Tucker, long two off the side iron, and the rebound is Moses Bowles. Good box out of Cade Meyer. That's not easy. Three and a half left in the half. Browning on an attack. And on the drive, the foul comes, the reach in, and so Marquise will be at the line as they'll take this one to Ryan Wade, his first. Eighth against the Phoenix, and Browning at the strike. Hit one of two a moment ago. Freeman has nine to lead the Panther offense on three of five from downtown. And Browning's free throw around and out. Couldn't believe it. Put his hands on his head as that one would not fall. Milwaukee has missed three of five as a team at the line. Still a four-point advantage with 3.20 left in the half. For the game, Green Bay still under 30%. Panthers 36%. Tucker, elbow right, nothing. Looks to give it up. Does so to Meyer. Back for Tucker. Eight to shoot. Galloping baseline right. High Arker will not go. Had to put that one up over the outstretched arms of Browning. Panthers up four. Under three to play in the half. Led by as many as nine early at 11 to two. Pullian on a skip pass. Somehow snagged by Freeman. Left sideline. He'll then rise into a three. He'll miss the shot. Freeman, I beg your pardon, Pullian is then over the back of Ryan Wade. Tried a back tap and climbed over the back of Ryan Wade instead. 247 left in the half, and so we will have more free throws. These will belong to Green Bay, however. And these will be Ryan Wade's free throws. Three points, has not attempted a free throw in this game. Wade has only attempted six free throws all year, but he's made them all. And the lefty missed that one, however. Here comes Zach Howell. He'll replace Kentrell Pullian in the Lundy lineup. Zach getting his second call of the night off the bench. That one goes for Ryan Wade. He's got four points. 27-24. Panthers by three. 240 to play in the half. Freeman a drive. He's bumped. He hangs. He shoots. Counted and won. That time, B.J. Freeman able to finish despite the Hefner foul. 29-24. 2.39 left before the break. And B.J. Freeman into double figures with 11. And looking for number 12 at the line. Freeman has made 19 consecutive free throws. Of course, he went 17 for 17 at Northern Kentucky a couple of games ago. Free throw is good. He's made 20 straight. The fifth player in Panther history to make at least 20 consecutive free throws. Six-point lead. 235 left in the half. 30-24 for the black and gold. And breaking the pressure, right to left comes Ziegler. Now to Tucker at the logo. High screen by Meyer. Tucker between the legs. Back for Ziegler, left of the circle. Driving on Thomas, high off the window. And he gets that banker to fall. Davin Ziegler gets his first points. 30-26. 2.14 left in the half. The Panthers lead it by four. Howell, NBA three. In and out. Bull, offensive rebound. Oh, he missed the putback from no foot range. And then it's out of bounds off of Green Bay. Oh, Mo shaking his head. The 7-1 setter. He's missed two from no foot range. How rare is that? He's only missed six shots all season. 26 of 32. Arguably their best finisher. Baseline, Thomas for the Panthers. Up by four. 204 left in the half. Freeman catches out near the top. One-on-one -on -one with Wade. Crosses him over, now turns his back, backs him down, splits two defenders, hangs, shoots, rolls it off, but he'll shoot as they get Hefner for his second foul, both against B.J. Freeman with the ball. So I mentioned it a moment ago, Freeman has made 20 consecutive free throws. The record is 32, if you're curious, and I know you are. 157 left in the half. Freeman's free throw is good. 31-26. Hefner goes out for Green Bay. Jenkins back on. Hefner with those two. 
Freeman drops that one home as well. So he's three for three on this day. And the lead is six with under two minutes to play in the first half. And here comes the pressure. Tucker, baseline, in for Ziegler, right back for Tucker. 26 seconds, and he works it across with a left-hand dribble. Good ball handling there by Tucker against a double team of Freeman and Browning. 18 to shoot. Ziegler at the top. Screen by Meyer. Back for Cade Meyer. Swing to the wing left for Tucker. Shot fake. A drive. Pull up from 17 is pure from the top. Tucker makes it 32-28. Tucker has nine to lead the Phoenix on offense. That's his average in conference play. Nine points. Freeman shot fake. Around Jenkins now. In the paint. Kick left wing Howell. Nothing. Freeman right back for Zach. Baseline drive, reverse layup, fouled by Cade Meyer. Panthers a little bit more aggressive here in attack mode in the last couple of minutes. Second on Meyer. This is a depleted roster, you might say, for interim head coach Freddie Owens. Ten available. He played nine on Saturday at IUPUI. Cummings on the bench with three. And now three other guys have two before halftime. And Zach Howell is at the line to our right in front of the student section. And his first free throw is good. Bowl will leave and Jalen Johnson will check on for the Panthers. Johnson who checks into this game today. 17 rebounds away from 500 for his collegiate career. Of course already a... 1,000 point scorer for his career. Second free throw was missed by Howell. Panthers by five. 102 left in this first half. Elbow Ziegler, the pass to the baseline. There's a skip way to the corner for Jenkins out top. That's a three up. It's missed by Randy Tucker. And with under a minute to go, Thomas and the Panthers clear the rebound left to right. 47 seconds left to play in the half. Panthers ball up by five. Freeman, right wing deep, directing traffic. Looking to find Jalen Johnson. And Johnson tried to come free in the corner, but he was held. And the hold against Tucker, that's going to be the third on Tucker. So things getting a little interesting for Freddie Owens and company with the foul situation. That for the Phoenix, number 10. So it's a two-shot foul for B.J. Freeman. He's got 14 points in this first half. He has hit four of nine from the field. And now 4 of 4 at the free throw line. Paul Sells and Lewis Garrison having a chat here. They called the foul on Tucker, but they may take a review. I think they may double check on whom this foul should be called. I believe that's what they're checking. Oh. No, it's not on who the foul is. It's on who the shooter should be, which is interesting because B.J. Freeman has already hit one free throw. Oh, they're going to take this point off the board. Yeah, it was Jalen Johnson who was fouled. 24 is the shooter, not 20. Well, you don't see this often. Usually, if an official or a crew isn't sure on whom the foul, or, or on, on who should be shooting the foul, they, they look it over before an attempt was made. In this case, you had Freeman with a free throw attempt, and they're going to take a point off the board. So Jalen Johnson is the shooter, and that's the right call. He was trying to get free in the corner, and he was held. B.J. Freeman just walked to the line, got the ball, and fooled all of us. Jalen Johnson's free throw is in and out. So it's still 33-28, five-point game. That is Tucker's third, though. He'll be replaced by Hefner in the lineup. You don't see that very often. Jalen hit the second, so they get one out of two at the line. First point for Jalen Johnson. Now it's 34-28. And there's 38 seconds left in the half. And the Phoenix break the trap. Jenkins in the front court. Nine second differential between the clocks. Out top to Jenkins. 20 to shoot, 29 to play. And Ziegler will hold and retreat now. Out near midcourt. 12 on the shot clock. Davin Ziegler 
Way out near the top, about 40 feet away. Screen by Meyer, five on the shot clock. Ziegler inside the arc, two on the shot clock. Left side, Jenkins for three, no good. Rebound fought for, Green Bay's got it. Six seconds left, three ball for Wade, and he hit it. 34-31, Thomas from midcourt off the mark. And the Phoenix off an offensive rebound. Only their fourth offensive rebound of the first half, but it pays off big time as they get a three to go just before the end of the first half. And it'll be a 34-31 score with Milwaukee leading the Green Bay Phoenix by three at halftime inside Panther Arena in the 72nd meeting between these intrastate rivals. Halftime show comes your way in a couple of minutes. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. And Kentrell Pullian, Elijah Jameson, and Ahmad Rayan start the second half. They started the ball game. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, Clarence Cummings, Ryan Wade, Cade Meyer, Davin Ziegler, Randy Tucker. Those five started the game. They start the second half for Freddie Owens. And it's Green Bay basketball in front of their bench. To my right, as I see it, next to the Milwaukee bench. And deep on the left side, it's Cummings. He'll retreat against pressure. Now 15 to shoot. Green Bay shot under 33% in the first half. 10 to shoot. Ziegler way out near the top. Picked up by Rand on a switch. Six to shoot. His pass deflected. Tenacious D to start the opening possession. Browning on a step through. Scoop and a score. Starts on the one end, forcing the turnover. Attacking with Browning. A transition to points off turnovers. That's the first two points off turnovers for Milwaukee in this game. They lead it by five. Opening minute, second half. Browning, by the way, he has nine. Siegler a drive, kick corner. Wade for three, and he hits another corner pocket three. Ryan Wade, he has ten. The last two makes have been threes from the corner. 36-34. And Green Bay sets up in the it's like a 1-2-2 two, two look here defensively. Corner. Jamison open three. Yes! He's got five. Both teams have hit six. 39-34. Back to a five-point lead. A lot of even statistics. Rand, a foul. That'll be his fourth. He came out as Cade Meyer caught left of the lane and he's going to have to come out of this game and here comes Moses Bull. Rand had a great game against the Phoenix back in December 13 points, 6 rebounds 4 blocks but the whistles are going to keep him from getting in a groove here tonight and Rand checks out. Can't believe he got called for that one but he did 18.33 to play, Panthers by 5. Tucker out near the top on Freeman, nothing given by BJ so he'll pass it back to the wing for Cummings Coming, spinning on Browning, 10 to shoot. Baseline, sealed off, back to the wing for Meyer. Nothing on his drive, back for Wade at the logo, three to shoot. Jamison in his grill, Wade, left wing, Cummings, three, rolls off as the shot clock expired. Good defense on that possession for Milwaukee. No look, Pullian in for Bowl, a double team there, and Moses Bowl can't get the hook shot to fall. Bowl is uncharacteristically 0 for 3 from the field. 39-34, back comes Cummings for the Phoenix. Out for Ziegler's three, and he rattles it in. Davin Ziegler, he's got five, and it's 39-37, Panthers. A little over two minutes into this second half. Seven for 21, the Phoenix from range. Browning inside, and on the drive, they'll call the foul on the floor. It's Cummings, and that's going to be number four on Clarence Cummings. Clarence Cummings, the third, has his fourth foul. 17.35 left, and he will leave. In comes Brock Hefner, who was really good with seven off the bench in the first half. He hit a couple of threes. So not much of a drop-off, at least not tonight. Panthers inbounding baseline up two. Freeman, three ball, rolls off, no good. And it's cleared by the Phoenix. Green Bay only led two to nothing. A three here would give them the lead. This is a three, and it goes in the right corner for Randy Tucker. And the Phoenix have the lead at 40-39. 17-17 to play here in this game. 
Tucker a dozen. Jamison a drive against the zone and on the attack will get a foul at the top. Davin Ziegler, his first. Well, look, when the offense has struggled this year for the Panthers, where have they gone? What have they done? They've looked to drive. They've looked to attack. They are better doing that. Their offense is better when they're on the dribble drive, and I realize the zone can be difficult, but that's kind of been their elixir this year. Panthers down one for the first time since it was two to nothing. Pullian. Deep on the right, Browning, 10 on the shot clock. Browning on a double. Now right of the lane, skip it to the corner, knocked out of bounds, Tucker. With each passing moment, with each passing minute that Green Bay is in this game, let alone leading this game, you can see the confidence build. Bart Lundy's gonna take a timeout here to draw up a play with five on the shot clock and a baseline inbounds upcoming. We'll take the timeout as well, 16.54 to go. Green Bay 40, Panthers 39. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Lear. And it has been a three-point performance for the Phoenix here in the first three-plus minutes. All three of their makes from range to lead it by a point. So there are five seconds on the shot clock, 16.54 on the second half clock. And it'll be Panthers ball. They have been good in the ATOs after timeouts. An alley-oop dunk out of a timeout in the first half. Let's see what Bart Lundy's drawn up here. Pullian, baseline, almost the corner left. No look to Freeman. He'll drive into the paint with three. He'll scoop. He'll leave it short. And the defensive rebound cleaned up by Ziegler. Now the Phoenix look to build on a one-point lead. Hefner, left to the top, nothing on the attack. Back up top to Davin Ziegler. 16.38, the clock runs here. Bowl comes out to pick up Ziegler on the switch. At the logo, Ziegler, another three up, and he rattles another one in. Davin Ziegler, another three. All 12 of their points have been on made threes in this half. They lead at 43-39. They've hit nine for the game. Browning out for Freeman in the paint. Browning spinning on the zone. Goes up, left it short. Tip in, somehow falls. Markeith Browning. Nothing but fight there. He's got 11. 43-41. Panthers down. Well, maybe the aggressiveness has to come now when you trail in a ball game, right? 15-55 left to play. High on the right side. Tucker. Corner. Another three for Wade. That one no good. Freeman the rebound. They finally missed. Freeman. One on five? Are you kidding me? Step through layup, no. Bull offensive rebound, put back, yes! Finally, Big Mo is able to get a put back to fall. How about B.J. Freeman? That one, at one point, he was the only gold jersey with five green ones defending. 43-43, we're back to even, under 15.30 to play. Hefner quickly, baseline, spinning block right. Browning defensively, Meyer in the paint, swatted out of there! A bull block! Panthers can regain the lead here with 15-15 to go. Pullian, baseline jumper is blocked, loose inside, and it's taken by Ziegler. So the Phoenix return the rejection. 43 apiece, 15 minutes left to play. Inside, floater will not go by Hefner. Rebound Browning, he's running in the open floor. Look out, oh, he lost it on the way up. He went to dunk it, and he lost the ball on the way up. Back comes Wade for the Phoenix. Skipping it out. Ziegler, NBA three, no good. Jamison the rebound. Oh, gosh. Haven't seen Browning struggle like that on a missed dunk all year. Now he's got it at the top. Driving on Wade to the corner. Freeman, pocket three is pure. 46-43. The Panthers on a 7-0 spurt with 14.20 to play. And this crowd coming to life as their team has regained the lead. Wade will bring it up on the dribble in the backcourt. Thomas and Howell set to check in for the Panthers as Wade turns the corner, bounce it for Tucker in the right side. Now Tucker brings it to the wing. Hefner at the top, guarded by Freeman, calling for a screen. Meyer sets it at the high. Post, Hefner, step back three. No good off the back bracket. Now they can't seem to find the well from deep. Panthers on a 7-0 spurt. Browning on a drive and a kick. Left corner pocket. Freeman, no. That would have made it a 10-0 run. 
Still, it's a three-point lead for Milwaukee, 46-43. 13-37 to play. Second half, both teams 12 points apiece. And so the lead is three. And here is Hefner on a drive, and they'll get Jamison for a foul out at the top. His first. Second foul on the Panthers in the half. It has been a very free-flowing first six and a half minutes since the break. Not unlike the way the game started before. It got a little chippy, and we heard a few more whistles. Timeout. Panthers up by three. 46-43. 13-24 to play in the game. We've got a timeout. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. Bay has hit four shots in the half. They've all been three-pointers. Panthers at 36% for the night. Green Bay tightening that gap now at 34%. Panthers still dominating on the boards, plus 14. It is Phoenix ball, baseline right beneath their basket. Jenkins in for Tucker. Wing on the right, guarded by Howell. With a right-hand dribble, steps back. Now feed Hefner at the top. Freeman gets the assignment. Hefner drives right on Freeman. Right of the lane now. Backing him down, backing him down. Dig down with Johnson. Lob into the paint. Meyer a catch. Goes up, and it'll be Thomas on the foul. First on JT. That turnover story still... A big reason, that in the three ball, why Green Bay is down only three. Phoenix have only, as Myers at the line for Green Bay shooting a pair, Phoenix have only turned it over in this game four times. Free throw good for Meyer, 46-44. Cade Meyer, they've been good on Meyer defensively. He's got five points. He averages 11-plus. And he has had games of 18 and 19 against Milwaukee in the last two Matchups. Six as he goes two for two tonight. 46 45, Panthers by one. 13 minutes to play here, second half. Howell in the corner, pops free and hits a three. Freeman finding Zach Howell in the left corner. And Howell rings it 49 45. Zach's got four. 12 45 left to play. Panthers have hit eight out of 23s. Green Bay, as I already said, has made nine out of 26. Here's a 27th attempt. No good left side, Jenkins. Wade fighting for the loose ball. And it's out of bounds. Freeman, though, the last to touch it. Freeman and Wade fighting in front of the Phoenix bench. 12-34 left. And it'll be Phoenix ball. Milwaukee by four at 49-45. Jenkins throw it in for Meyer. Green Bay trying to break this ugly 14-game losing streak. They've lost 17 straight away from Green Bay. Jenkins, left side. Hefner on a drive. Double team comes. He scores through contact and a foul. And a flex at the end for the former Grafton High School Blackhawk. Hefner can get his 10th point at the line, and more importantly for the Phoenix, make it a one-point game. 12-18 to go. 49-47. And the free throw is good. So Hefner's got 10. Wade's got 10. Tucker's got 12. Freeman and Browning in double figures for the Panthers, and as they try to feed it to Johnson left of the lane, we will get a quick whistle and a hold against Hefner. So Hefner has three. Cummings right now on the bench with four. Tucker and Hefner out there with three each for the Phoenix. And Freddie Owens, just 10 suited up in this game, is going to bring in Davin Ziegler and bring out Brock Hefner. 12-12 to play. Panthers by one, 49-48. EJ to trigger baseline left, finds Howell in the corner, and then he stepped out of bounds. Had a little trouble collecting the sneakers, and he turned it over. An unforced turnover. Panthers with eight turnovers. That's their first in the half, and Green Bay can regain the lead with 12.05 to play, 49-48. Meyer, an illegal screen out at the top as Devin Ziegler worked it across the logo. 
Cade Meyer illegally screened Zach Howell the brunt of that one. And that will be a fifth turnover against the Phoenix. And a big one as they had a chance to take the lead back. Third on Meyer. Again, the foul situation, something to keep an eye on for Green Bay. Freeman, wrap it around, left at the top. Howell, Jamison looking inside. Can't feed Johnson, so they'll refeed the top. At the logo, Freeman, 17 to shoot. Corner, Howell, right side. No on that three. Jamison, offensive rebound. Mouse in the house. Put back, no. Tip in, yes! Oh, playing like a big for the 6'3 freshman guard. Elijah Jamison, 51-48. And here is a five-second violation. The Panthers' pressure disallows the Phoenix to inbound it. It's another turnover for Green Bay. Back-to-back -back turnovers for the Phoenix. They have as many turnovers in the first eight and a half minutes as they did in the first half. Timeout on the floor. Panthers ball up by three. 11.33 to go. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Panthers basketball from Learfield. Hefner has checked back on for Green Bay. Out of this timeout. Tucker is also out there. I mentioned those two because they have three fouls each. And Thomas, baseline. Better hurry. He does so. Howell the catch left to the top. And now finds Justin. Quick feed in for Johnson. Jalen bobbles, deflected to the top. Battle for a loose ball out near the logo. And we're going to have a jump ball, a held ball. Arrow, Milwaukee's. Jalen Johnson, 12 points in the first matchup with Green Bay. He has not attempted a field goal here today. And the officials, Paul Sells, coming over to the replay monitor. They may check the clock here, I think. I think. I always hate to speculate. So, 11.23 to play as Sells and Garrison go over to the monitor here and take a look. I think they're, yeah, they're, they're checking the clock situation here. Want to make sure the timing all matches up. Panthers will be in action again on Thursday night back here at the arena. 7 o'clock tip-off. Detroit Mercy. They've won a couple in a row. Knocked off Cleveland State and Purdue Fort Wayne on their two-game homestand last week. And they did so rather easily, I might say. Antoine Davis, two more 30-point games. Player of the Week. Named earlier today, and he'll be here on Thursday. He has a career scoring average of 30 points per game against the Panthers. Panthers held him, I say held him to 30 in the first matchup. Defended him as well as I've seen in his career, and still he found a way to get to 30. He's a special player. He'll be here Thursday. 10 on the shot clock because there was a held ball and there was no change in possession. The shot clock should not have been reset, so they're going to put 10 on it because it was Panthers' possession originally. Okay, here we go. Thomas to trigger in on the sideline. For Jamison, high on the left. Screen by Thomas. Attacking baseline. Six to shoot. Pass back out to the wing for Freeman. Three to shoot. Two to shoot. Contested three is up. Side iron, no good. And it went over the side of the backboard, and it'll go to Green Bay. 11-11 to play. 51-48. Panthers pressure full court again. Inbound to Wade. Phoenix only six turnovers, but three of them in this half. And Wade brings it across. Jenkins in the corner, nothing. 20 on the shot clock, 11 to play in the game. Wade curls to the top. Refeed the logo, now Hefner, guarded by Johnson. Hefner, skip it left corner. Ryan Wade, refeed the corner, intercepted. Three straight possessions, three straight turnovers. Here comes Thomas back. He's tripped, and he goes down, and he looks to be okay. And the foul on Jenkins, his second. Fifth against Green Bay. 10.44 left, Panthers up by three. Meyer replaces Wade in the Green Bay lineup. Markeith Browning. 
will replace Elijah Jamison in the Panthers lineup. Jamison sits, seven points, six rebounds for EJ, a couple of assists as well. Howell, baseline, lob it in. Johnson, now Thomas, 24 on the shot clock. JT puts it on the deck, spins on Hefner, fader off contact, no, and the loose ball to the top, ripped away by Tucker. Now Tucker goes down, Johnson's going to tie up Tucker, and the arrow will point Green Bay's way. Ten and a half left. Panthers making it difficult on Green Bay in the last few minutes. And everything tough. Remember the Phoenix with consecutive turnovers now on their last three trips. But the Panther lead only three. Are we going to be headed for another nail biter? It's kind of how it's gone this year. Didn't know if we'd get it tonight, but we might. Still a lot of time. Ziegler at the top. Hefner against Freeman. 10 to shoot. Takes it to the free throw line. Now backs it out to the top. Hand it back for Davin Ziegler. Step right. Three on the way. Off the mark. No good. Johnson and Meyer fighting. And it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Meyer. Panthers get it. Green Bay. Three turnovers in the last couple of minutes. They've missed seven of eight. Panthers only lead it by three. Trying to get a little more separation here. Their largest lead of the game was 11-2. to two, Nine points. Otherwise, it's been tight. Browning inside, outside Thomas. In for Johnson. Pass fake. Hook is good. Caught right at the rim. Fake the pass to the corner. And then Jalen is able to get his first field goal. His second and third points. And the Panthers lead it by five. 53-48. Nine minutes and 35 seconds. Clock runs here inside Panther Arena. Scott Warris on a Monday night. Jenkins left open, and he buries the three. His first points of the game, and he makes it a two-point game. 53-51, their 10th three-pointer. They only make about five and a half a game. Freeman, the attack of the zone, dropping off for Johnson. On the way up, he stripped. He turned it over. We play on. Green Bay down two, 9.04 to go. Ziegler in the lane, Ziegler kick corner. Jenkins to the top, Tucker for three in the lead and he hits it. Green Bay's got the lead with 8.54 to go. Their 11th three-pointer. 54-53. They're not gonna go away, are they? Johnson, a double team comes, kick out Freeman. An answer up, no good. And the rebound, Ziegler. He's running into the front court. And now he'll back it out. And a timeout will be taken here by Green Bay. The timeout called by the Phoenix with 8.29 to go. And this will go as a full timeout. So we'll take it as well. All right, folks. You can't say it's unfamiliar territory. 8.29 left. Panthers down 54-53. And we're back in a moment. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Milwaukee Panthers basketball from Learfield. 8.29 to go. And it's a one-point lead for Green Bay. 54-53. Panthers leading by as many as nine early on in this one. Green Bay's largest lead was four. A 13-point window in which we have played this game. Six straight for the Phoenix after the Panthers led it by five, and it's Green Bay basketball. Freddie Owens taking a timeout here. Both teams have two timeouts for the remainder of regulation. Ziegler will inbound it. Phoenix in the front court. Green Bay and Milwaukee knotted up at 37% each way field goal shooting. Tucker high on the right side. They've hit a season-high tying 11 threes, the Phoenix have. Here's another one. Ziegler on the way, and there is number 12. Davin Ziegler has hit three threes in this half, and the lead is four for Green Bay. 57-53. Pullian, shot fake. Now looks to drive. Retreats to the corner. Curl it back up top for Thomas. Thomas, under eight to play. Freeman, answer, no good from the right side. Browning, offensive rebound. Putback is good. 
13 for Browning. 57-55. Panthers down by two. 7.40 to go. The three ball. An ultimate equalizer in this sport. And they are 12 of 31. uh, 57-55. Green Bay the lead. 7.30 to go. Meyer, left wing Ziegler. Hefner calling for a screen. Coming out is Meyer. He gives Hefner the screen. Bounce it back in for Hefner on the pick and roll. Bowl the block, but a foul comes. He blocked it with his right hand, but I think there was a push with the offhand. And as I said earlier, with each passing possession, and certainly every minute, that Green Bay is in the game, let alone leading as they are right now by two, they believe the confidence mounts. Meyer at the line, hits the free throw. And conversely, the pressure builds for the Panthers. They've been in so many close games this year, but still, you feel it. Second free throw missed by Meyer. 58-55 Green Bay. 7-15 left to play here at Panther Arena. Trying to keep pace with the Youngstown State and move to 11-3 atop the league. Browning high on the left side, 15 to shoot. Thomas takes it to the right wing. Nothing in the corner. Screen by Bowl, curls to the elbow. JT, pass it inside for a cutting. Pullian, who knifes in baseline to score. 58-57, Panthers down by one. 6.47 and the clock runs here. In what is becoming an increasingly nervous Panther arena, Jenkins traveled. Try to jump stop at the top. His feet went out from under him. And the Panthers fortunate there. 6.41 left. Jenkins will leave. Wade replaces him. So the Panthers can regain the lead here. 58-57. 6.41 left. Only the eighth turnover tonight by Green Bay. Thomas out near the top. 25 on the shot clock. Browning between the wheels. Now looks to drive against the zone. Burrowing in, block left. It's blocked by Meyer, loose, and it comes to Wade. That was a bit of a force, I think, by Browning. A double team comes, and he still tried to get it up over Meyer. That's near impossible. 6.18 left to go. Phoenix, the lead of one. Hefner, step back, now driving on Freeman. Jump stop in the paint. Goes up, blocked by Freeman. Loose in the lane. Hefner picks it up and puts it in. Panthers almost had the stop. 60-57. 60-57. Hefner's got 10. Pullian, right sideline, nothing. 5.55 left. Panthers down three. Corner. This is Freeman on the attack. Leaner is good. 60-59. 5.40 left, and here comes the pressure now. Let's see if it pays off. It'll just be Pullian to harass Tucker in the backcourt. 5.33 left to play, and the Phoenix will take a timeout. It'll be a 60-second timeout. So the Phoenix take a 60. We'll keep it right here. Fans, catch the Horizon League on ESPN Plus all season long. We've hit February. I hope all season long you have been watching. And... uh, As you do that, stay up to date by visiting horizonleague.com and interacting with at Horizon League on social media. Learn more at horizonleague.com. 5.31 left. Green Bay will have just one timeout remaining. The rest of regulation. Panthers have a couple. Both teams with five fouls. Possession arrow points Milwaukee's way on a held ball. We've had a few of those in this half. Green Bay trying to snap a five-game losing streak in the series to the Panthers. They have not beaten Milwaukee since Link Darner was their head coach. And I imagine for the Phoenix, more importantly, if you would ask them, get back into the win column overall this year. And if it comes against the rivals, that's just cherry on top. Panthers break the huddle defensively. Freeman, Pullian, Browning, Bowl, and Thomas 
Offensively, Tucker, Wade, Ziegler, Meyer, and Hefner. Freeman's got a game-high 19. Browning with 13. For Green Bay, Tucker leads everybody with 15 on that ledger. And there's 20 on the shot clock now for the Phoenix with Ryan Wade at the logo. Has it high on the right side. Back to the left wing. Davin Ziegler and I drive in a kickback for Wade along the wing. 12 to shoot. And he'll retreat between the legs dribble. Wade to the top. Left wing. Tucker. Five to shoot. Baseline. 17 footer. No good off the back bracket. Meyer an offensive rebound out near the top. And then he threw it away. Miscommunication there. Tossing it to the left sideline. And Meyer beside himself with that mistake. Panthers can regain the lead here with 5.09 left. 60-59. Both teams with nine turnovers on the night. Freeman. Five to play. Curls into the lane. Jump pass to the corner, and it's out of bounds. Turned over by Kentrell Pullian. Panthers return the favor. Boy, BJ spun into the paint. Thought he might rise up and shoot. Instead, he rose up and passed. Tenth turnover. 4.53 left, 60-59, Green Bay. Tucker, the ball handler at the top. Toss left wing. Beyond the arc, Hefner puts it on the floor. Step back, pass back for Wade. Ten on the shot clock now. Wade takes it high on the left. Eight to shoot to the corner. Ziegler off balance, three rolls off. B.J. Freeman the rebound. Panthers up, I beg your pardon, down by one. Browning for three, no good off the back heel. Pullian fighting, somehow saves the rebound in the corner only momentarily though. Boy, KP got up. The best he could do was push it over to the corner and then he tried to dig it out there but he slipped and went out of bounds. So an empty possession for the Panthers. And a one point lead still for Green Bay. 60-59 with 4-10 to go. Panthers have found themselves in another white knuckler. Siegler, logo, driving. Right lane line, pass back from Meyer. He'll step back, he'll pop a three, he'll miss it. Rebound Browning, that would have made it a four point game. 3.53 left, Panthers can regain the lead. Browning on a drive and from behind will get a reach in. Nope, not from behind, from in front, Ryan Wade, the foul. They say it was on the floor, so it's his second, but the team's sixth. It's the under four media timeout. The Panthers will have it baseline. And they'll need points. They're down one. It is 60-59 Green Bay. Here we go again. Panthers fans, buckle your seatbelt. Our final timeout of regulation. This is Educators Credit Union coverage of Panthers basketball from Learfield. 3.51 to go. 25 on the shot clock. Panthers ball baseline left. And triggering is Thomas. And this crowd trying to rally this offense. Thomas to trigger. Rand back out there. He's played sparingly tonight with foul trouble. The toss to the top for Freeman. He's going to attack Tucker. Spinning on Randy Tucker. Drop it off in for Ahmad Rand right there. And an immediate impact for Ahmad Rand. 61-60. And out of the timeout, they get points again. 61-60, 3.35 to go. The Panthers in front. Now this crowd trying to urge and implore this defense to get a stop. High on the right side is Wade, guarded by Thomas. They'll skip it corner. Davin Ziegler, little shoulder shimmy in the lane, kick out. Hefner for three, and he rolls in there. 13th three ball of the game. A season high for the Phoenix from distance. 63-61 Green Bay. 3.09 to go. Freeman, nothing on the attack left side. He'll find Pullian. He'll rise for three, and he'll ring it up. And the Panthers forge back in front, 64-63. Under three minutes to go inside Panther Arena. That for Milwaukee, their ninth from downtown. Tucker across, left to right. Hefner rising for another three, no good. Rebound Pullian snatches it out of the night sky. 2.40 left, Panthers up by one. 64-63. Freeman high on the left, guarded by Tucker, 20 to shoot. They swing to the right side. Now to the elbow. That's Browning on Hefner. Splits a double. Low on the left. Layup is good. 66 63, 220 to go. And now this crowd starting to stand. Cummings out there playing with four. 
2.12 left. Clarence Cummings, the ball handler, to Tucker left side. Freeman went for the steal, didn't get it. Panthers up three as we have hit the two-minute mark of the second half. Tucker driving right on Freeman. Back to the top, Hefner, shot fake. Drive on Thomas, scoop to the hoop, left it short. Got his own miss and put it in. 66-65, Brock Hefner makes it a one-point game. He's got 15. He and Tucker lead the way for them. 140 left, Panthers up by one with the ball. To our left, 17 to shoot. Pullian high on the left side. We've been here many times before. Pullian, another three on the way. That's an air ball. And on the weak side, Rand's got it, finds Pullian, who's right there to put it in. And Bart Lundy wants a timeout. That, my friends, is stick to itiveness. You had Pullian putting up an air ball three from the left wing. And moments later, he's getting a baseline wraparound pass for a lay in. If he's out there pouting, he is not there to get a pass and an easy put back two. 68 65 Milwaukee. Lundy takes the timeout with 124 to go. The Horizon League Basketball Championships will start February 28th and March 2nd on campus before culminating in Indianapolis March 6th and 7th at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Come join the excitement and find out who will reach the horizon. For more info, go to horizonleague.com slash indy, horizonleague.com slash indy. Is it going to be more exciting than this? If so, I may not be able to handle it. Panthers have won 8 of 10. And in the stretch, in that stretch of 10 games, only one has been decided by double digits. This is just how the league for Milwaukee has gone. But I'll tell you what, Green Bay has not been in a lot of tight games of late themselves, but they look pretty poised so far. <laughs> they've, they've fooled me. Okay. Pullian will be on the ball. Panthers up by three with 1.24 to go. Both teams have one timeout left. In the backcourt, Jamison checking on defensively, harassing Gavin Ziegler. Ziegler, I beg your pardon, Ziegler. High on the right side, picked up by Rand. Between the wheels, Cummings, 15 to shoot. Cummings to the left side. Now to Tucker at the top on Freeman. Ziegler, right wing on Rand. Five to shoot. Four to shoot. Left wing. This is Cummings for an NBA three, and he banked it in as the shot clock expired. Are you kidding me? 68-68. That is number 14 from distance. A buzzer-beating banker. And we are tied with 43 seconds to go. 18 to shoot for the Panthers. Play poised here, gentlemen. Freeman out near the top. 10 on the shot clock. BJ off the dribble, down the lane. Scoop to the hoop and the score. Count it. And a foul for BJ Freeman. Give that man a first team All Horizon League honor right now. They cleared out for Freeman. He was 40 feet away. He drove to the rack, got hit on the arm, and Freeman will go for three. Seventy sixty-eight. Freeman's got 21. This arena falls silent. The free throw is good. 71-68. 31 seconds left. Phoenix have one timeout remaining. They've already hit 14 threes, and they need one here. And as Jenkins brings it across, Freddie Owens will call a timeout. 27 and 4 tenths seconds remaining. It's a 30-second timeout. That's the only timeout that Freddie Owens has in his back pocket. I've run out of things to say about games like this. I feel like I've used all those phrases at least a couple times before. Panthers need another stop. If you're Green Bay, do you drain the clock and go for a three late? Do you go for the three early? And then play the foul and chase game? What do you got to lose if you're Green Bay? They are playing free and easy tonight, and the Phoenix fans should be proud. Panthers have five team fouls here. 
Keep that in mind. So they still have one to give if you're starting to think about that situation. 27.4, B.J. Freeman is asking this crowd to stand. And this Monday night attendance will oblige. They rise in unison with Jenkins out at the logo. Panthers up by three. Green Bay working to our right. Tucker high on the left side. Tucker, left sideline, puts up a three on the way. It's an air ball. Hefner's got it. He's stripped. Jamison the strip, the steal. And then a Phoenix foul by Cummings. Well, Hefner, who in this game, three threes, 17 points. Put up one from the left side, an NBA type three. It was an air ball. Jamison, the weak side rebound. And the Panthers at the line up by three. Now that was only the eighth foul by Green Bay. So it's a one and one for Elijah Jamison. This thing is far from over. It's a one and one for Jamison. Yeah, everybody's making sure everybody knows it's a one and one. Jamison, no free throw attempts in the game, seven points. And the true freshman's free throw is no good. And the rebound tipped around. Green Bay's got it. They have no timeouts left. They can tie it with a three. Six seconds to go. Five seconds. Tucker. Now Ziegler for three in the tie. And he hit it with 1.1 to go. Davin Ziegler, a dagger to tie this game. And a timeout by the Panthers with 1.1 to play. It's the last timeout for Bart Lundy's squad. That the 15th made three by the Phoenix, and it was a bomb by Ziegler. He's got 14. He's made four threes. And he may have sent this game to overtime. Now remember, unlike the NBA, I always have to say this, unlike the NBA, unlike women's basketball, college basketball, there is not a situation here where you're inbounding at half court. The Panthers will have to go the length of the floor. Officials are at the monitor here. They want to check the clock. There's 1.1 right now on the monitor. Boy, Elijah Jamison was at the line. Up by three. Had a chance to probably seal the game. It was a one and one. He missed the first one off the back iron. The rebound. Pullion leapt into the sky, but it was taken by Green Bay. No timeouts left, like I said. And they will leave the clock. Nope. 1.4. So they'll add three tenths. Green Bay pushed. And Ziegler a left wing deep bomb. I don't know about you. But the 72nd meeting in this rivalry has turned out to be pretty good. Phoenix trying to pull off an upset. Panthers trying to avoid the upset. Pullian, Jamison, Freeman, Rand, and Browning. It'll be Pullian to inbound. Again, they got to go 94 feet here. Jamison, Freeman will be at the midcourt stripe. Rand and Browning in the in the uh, in the backcourt or in the front court. I'm sorry. Hefner defending the ball, and Pullian will run the baseline. A long touchdown pass inside. It's off the backboard. It's taken by Davin Ziegler into Phoenix. And he's going to whip one up. And that's going to be the end of regulation. So Kentrell Pullian's long touchdown pass, baseball pass, whichever analogy you like, actually hit off the backboard of the Panthers' basket. And we will go overtime in the rivalry between Green Bay and Milwaukee. How about it, folks? Okay. You get a chance to catch your breath here? <laughs> wow. Overtime this year. Green Bay has not played an overtime game this year. Panthers this season have pa played two. Both of them coming in conference. They lost here at home to Wright State back in mid-January, 78-74. They won at Cleveland State in early January, 68-64. So the Panthers have done this a couple of times, and they've split a pair. Through the end of regulation, 
Panthers shooting 42%, Green Bay at 39%. Panthers five of six to finish the uh, second half in the field goal percent, uh, field goal shooting department. So they, they finished well in that respect. But it's not over. Pullian Rand, Jamison Freeman, and Browning for Milwaukee to start overtime. Meyer, Jenkins, Ziegler, Hefner, Tucker to start overtime for the Phoenix. Clarence Cummings has fouled out of this game, by the way. He committed that foul on Jamison after the missed three, so Clarence Cummings is out. Hefner has four. Meanwhile, Ahmad Rand has four for the Panthers. That's the foul situation here as we begin the extra five. And the tip is controlled by Milwaukee. Still shooting to our left. Teams shoot in front of their own benches yet here for overtime. Well, you got to kind of catch your breath here. you got five minutes of basketball to play. Jamison against that tough 2-3 zone. It's been tough tonight. Pulling a drive on Jenkins. Kick it out to EJ. Corner, Freeman on a baseline drive. Step through, layup, and on the drive, the foul is called. They'll be at the line. Cade Myers fourth. So already one Phoenix member has been disqualified. Freeman is at the line, and now Meyer has four. And he'll come out replaced by Ryan Wade. B.J. Freeman, 22 points, a game high, 4 of 4 at the free throw line. And trying to give the Panthers the lead to start overtime here. Free throw is good. Had his streak of six straight games of 20 points or more snapped on Thursday, and he's starting a new streak tonight with now 23. And that one drops in. So he is 6 for 6 at the line. He is now 25 for his last 25 at the free throw line. 7 off the program record. 73-71 Panthers. Now Green Bay Phoenix with their first possession of overtime. Jenkins races it into the front court. High on the right. Guarded by Pullian. Back for Tucker left at the top. Tucker. Here's Hefner. He'll get off a 3. That's in and out. That one was... In the cylinder and came out. 4.15 left in overtime. Panthers by two. Phoenix, 17 for Hefner, their leader. Corner right, Freeman. Defense, drawn Tucker, skip it left corner, pulling in three. No good, rolls off. And the rebound is Green Bay's. Nice job, Randy Tucker. Keeping Browning on his backside as Browning tried to dig out an offensive board. Minute into the extra session. Panthers by two. Tucker at the top, turning the corner, left lane line run. Pass up top deflected, Pullian. Ziegler is back. KP is going to push off, and I think that's going to be a charge. Yep, that's an offensive foul. It's a good call. I don't know that he had to do it because Ziegler's momentum was carrying him to the baseline anyway. If KP just comes, if, and I know it's tough when you got a head of steam. If he comes to a solid jump stop, you have a layup there. The defender's momentum takes him out of the play on its own. Turnover, Panthers. Their 13th. Panthers up to 73 71. 340 left in this game. Panthers led by three at halftime. It has been tight pretty much all night long. It's been a good game. Entertaining to say the least. Wade on a drive, free throw line, nothing. Looking to give up the ball. In trouble and does so left wing to Tucker on Freeman. Rising, a 17 footer is good for Randy Tucker. Tucker with 17 now, and he ties it at 73. 311 left. Both teams with a couple of field goals here in extra session. Pullian left of the circle for three. No good. Rand offensive rebound. Stripped, and then he goes down. They play on here as Ziegler dug it out, and then Rand reaches in and has just fouled out of this game. That time, frustration getting to Ahmad Rand. Mm. He got the offensive rebound off the missed Pullian three and then looked like he may have been undercut. Didn't get the whistle though and then committed a reach in foul after Green Bay dug out the loose ball. 2.57 left. 
And at the line is Davin Ziegler. He can give the Phoenix their first lead of overtime. Ziegler with 14 points. He has not attempted a free throw here tonight. 53% on the season, but he makes the first. 74-73. Thomas replaced Rand in the lineup. A bigger pardon. Johnson replaced Rand in the lineup. Thomas replaced Poyan in the lineup. Gavin Ziegler's second is good. 53% free throw shooter. You wouldn't know it the way he shot those. 75-73 Green Bay. Under three to play in overtime. Freeman. Deep on the left side. Spins on Jenkins on a double. Split them both and scores going glass. 75-75. 2.38 to play. Freeman with 26. The chant of defense echoes from the crowd. Tucker in the corner. Screen Hefner curls to the elbow. Pass to the right wing for Wade. 12 on the shot clock. Ryan Wade guarded tightly by Browning. Brings it to the top. Back to that right wing. Here's Jenkins for three. Too long. It went over the backboard. And the Panthers have it. 2.13 left. Tied at 75. Hefner comes out for Green Bay. Cade Meyer comes back in. A classic in this long-held rivalry between Green Bay and Milwaukee. 75-75, 2.09 left. Overtime. Freeman right wing. Tucker on him. Baseline. Spinning. Bobbles. Recollects. Drives. Reverse layup is pure. Oh my, what a move. 77-75. 77-75. 1.54 left. Panthers back in front. Now can they get the stop they need as Freeman with 28. Ziegler way out near the logo. Going to attack the rim. His shot is around and out. Missed the no-footer. Thomas a fingernail rebound for Milwaukee. Oh, a heartbreaker for Davin Ziegler and company. 90 seconds to go. 77-75. Panthers have the lead. We're in overtime. Freeman looking for 30. Baseline draws a double. He's in trouble. Pass out Jamison for three. No good. Long rebound comes to Jenkins. And he'll back it out. 115 left. Panthers up by two. And Freddie Owens and the Phoenix will take their lone timeout of overtime here. 113 to play in overtime. Panthers 77. Green Bay Phoenix 75. It'll be the Panthers and Detroit Mercy on Thursday at 7 o'clock Central Time, 6.30 for our pregame show. Panthers, four of their final six at home after today. Green Bay will be home to Oakland on Thursday night. Four of their final six will be at home. Panthers still have their overtime timeout remaining. Panthers in the double bonus. Green Bay still shooting the one and one. Jenkins, Wade, Meyer, Tucker, and Ziegler for Green Bay on offense. And it'll be Jenkins to be handed the ball for, by Ron Tyberski. Sideline left, bounce it in for Wade. 112 and the clock runs. Green Bay down two. Wade deep on the right. Wrap it to the block for Meyer. Kick out Wade. They reverse Tucker for three in the lead, and he hit another one. 78-77 Green Bay. Their 16th three-pointer of the game. Now the Panthers trail with 55 seconds left. Freeman deep on the left side. BJ, a couple of stutter steps. Turns his back on the defender. Now drives, splits two. Layup won't go. And the rebound, Green Bay. Ziegler's got it. 40 seconds left. Now the Phoenix have the ball, leading it by one. 35 seconds left. And Jenkins high on the right side. There are folks in Youngstown pulling for the Phoenix right now. Youngstown would maintain sole possession of first if Green Bay pulls off this upset. Seven on the shot clock, 20 to play. Panthers need to stop. Jenkins, right wing. This is Tucker. Step back. Three ball is up, missed it, and the rebound fought for. We will get a loose ball foul on Cade Meyer with 12.1 seconds to play, and Elijah Jamison will be at the free throw line shooting two. 
it was Elijah Jamison who missed the front end of a one and one at the end of regulation when the Panthers were up by three. And by missing, allowed Green Bay to tie it and send it to overtime with a three-pointer. And Elijah Jamison, as big as those free throws were then, these a little bit bigger. So Cade Meyer just fouled out. Meyer and Cummings have been disqualified for Green Bay. And it's a two-shot foul for Jamison, the true freshman, biggest free throws of his college career. And the first is perfect. 78-78, 12.1 seconds left. Keep in mind, Green Bay has no timeouts remaining as we await the second free throw. Jamison, yes, the lead is one for the Panthers. Bart Lundy will take the timeout and set up his defense. So the Panthers have forged back in front. 79-78, 12.1 seconds left. This is eerily similar to the end of regulation. The only difference is obviously the Panthers had a three-point lead at the end of regulation. And there was about this much time left or so. Many in this crowd have been standing <laughs> for the duration of overtime. They've been standing for about 20, 25 minutes of real time. Jamison, Pullian, Thomas, Browning, and Freeman. Neither team has timeouts remaining. 79, 78 Panthers, 12.1. Green Bay, 12.1 away from snapping the 14-game losing streak. This crowd, everybody on their feet. Ziegler will inbound. Hefner, Jenkins, Wade, and Tucker join him on the floor. And here we go. 12.1 to play. Inbound. Ziegler gets the pass back. 10 seconds. Still in the backcourt. Jenkins, far sideline. Front court with six. At the logo, Ziegler with four. Drives on Freeman. 17 footer rolls in with 0.7 seconds to go. Oh my goodness. Davin Ziegler. Again, this time giving the Phoenix the lead at 80 to 79. The clock shows 0.7, but the officials may add some more. Davin Ziegler, a Panthers killer here tonight. He hit the three to tie it and send it to overtime. And he hits a fadeaway 17-footer to give the Phoenix the lead. The Panthers will be lucky to have about a second remaining, though. Uh, the Panthers, they have played with fire many times this year. So many close games. And so often this year, they have come out on top. 1.3 to go. And Green Bay is trying to ensure that the Panthers are burned for one of the rare times they've played with fire this year. Freddie Owens, interim head coach, his fourth game with that title. Trying to upset the intrastate rival. Pullian, Jamison, Thomas, Freeman, and Browning. And the baseline for Kentrell Pullian once again. Panthers trying to pull off a miracle here, down by one with 1.3 left. Hefner leaping to contest the inbound. Pullian given the ball, runs the baseline, throws it into the front court. Freeman grabs it, turns, shoots the three, rolls it off at the buzzer, and Green Bay has won this game 80-79 as B.J. Freeman's would-be game-winning three-pointer rims out. And the Phoenix have snapped their 14-game losing streak at the expense of the Milwaukee Panthers by a final of 80-79 in overtime. Another classic in the series between the Panthers and the Phoenix. That'll do it for those of you watching us on ESPN+. What a game this one was.
I'm Scott Warris saying so long from Milwaukee, where the final score once again in overtime. It is Green Bay 80 and the Panthers 79. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. We'll see you Thursday night. This has been a presentation of ESPN.